Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today I've had a request to draw a goldfish, so something a little bit different. All that you're going to need is a pencil, an eraser, a black pen and some plain white paper. And if you wish to colour in your goldfish, you can use colouring pencils like I am, or you can use felt tip pens or watercolours or anything that you like. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you can download from the link just here. So let's get started. We're going to start off our goldfish nice and simply with an oval shape. So just lightly in pencil, just draw a rough oval shape, just like this. There we go. Don't press too hard. I'm only pressing hard so that you can see it on the camera. Just go over it a couple of times if it's not looking good. There we go, that's good enough for me. Okay, now we're going to do the tail. So just poking out from the top of this oval shape, we'll draw a line going diagonally to the right hand corner. Okay, now we're going to draw another line, just peeping out from here, going diagonally down to the bottom right hand corner, just like so. We're gonna join up those lines. Just like that, okay? Now, we're going to draw the top fin. So, starting about here, draw a line going upwards to the right. Okay, you with me? If you are, you're doing so, so well. Go downwards, and then we're going to go inwards, okay? We're going to draw another fin. So, starting down here, Draw a line going downwards and then it goes up again and that's it. We've got one more fin to do so just bear with me. Just start there. I'm going to do like a rhombus shape so coming down, I'm going to turn right, I'm going to go up, I'm going to turn left and that's it. Woohoo! Now for the eye, pop in the eye just there. And there we have it, it almost looks like a goldfish. Okay, we're gonna add a bit more. Now, I'm going to swap over to a pen, but please carry on in pencil and then go over it in pen. I'm gonna start off randomly by doing another fin just here. So we're just going to add this fin in. So this is just a little fin there. I'm doing it first because it's right in the foreground, so everything else goes behind it. So just a shape like that. Don't forget you can pause the video at any moment, okay? So we're then going to do the back. So starting here, just going to come all the way down. I'm going to follow this line that we did before. All the way down like that. I'm going to make it a little bit more pointed. It's going to come out a little bit further out. Can you see that? And then it's going to go in like this. And then we're going to draw the little unhappy mouth. I'm sure it's not unhappy, but it's got a little unhappy mouth going to go round, it's going to curve round all the way up like that. Okay. Did you know that goldfish are the most popular pets with over 480 million sold worldwide? That's more than cats and dogs combined. I didn't know that until I was researching this. So I'm just going to go over that and pen a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to draw the rest of the mouth. So just coming downwards like this. It's going to come all the way down, all the way down, all the way down like that. And then it's going to go upwards, round here. It's going to come in and then now we're going to do the tail. So I'm just going to join up the other side just to make it a little bit symmetrical. There we go. So we're just starting the tail here, okay? So let's do the top part. So this is going to go all the way out to about there, okay? It's going to come downwards. It's going to be the very flamboyant tail. Inwards like that, okay? Then we're going to do the bottom half. So come round. And that's just a myth that goldfish have a three second memory. They've actually done experiments which have tested their memory and they can remember things up to five months. So there we go. You can't use that phrase, you've got a memory like a goldfish. There we go. Okay, now we're just going to draw just a simple line, just curved around like that. Okay, 
Now we're going to carry on with the fins. So this one at the top. I really must congratulate you if you've got this far. You're doing so well. Well done for showing up today and for continuing to draw. Should be commended. You should give yourself some praise. Okay, come all the way down, just like that. Okay, now for this bottom fin. This one's going to be a little bit more different. So all the way down and round until you get to about there. Then we're going to go in again. And we're going to come out again. And then we're just going to follow this line all the way around until we hit the body just there. Can you see that? Brilliant. Okay, now this rhombus shape here is actually two fins. Okay, so we're going to start off with one. So just follow the rhombus shape as I did before. Okay, until you get to about there. Now, just slightly to the right hand side, we're going to start the other fin. So this comes around, just like that. And we're going to follow the rumper shape like that. And then this one's just going to tuck in just behind there. Okay. Now for the big googly eyes. So I'm just going to draw a black oval shape just like this. Can you see that? Now I'm going to draw another line just around that black oval shape that we did before. Okay. And I'm going to draw just the other eye just poking out from behind there. Can you see that? I'm going to add a few more gills, so one there and one there. And then I'm going to show you how to draw what looks like scales. So I'm going to carry on the same kind of curvature of those gills. So just kind of carry them on, just these rounded curved lines. It's going all the way down, all the way like so, all the way down to about here. And then we're simply just going to go in the other direction, just like this. Just drawing some curved lines just so that it crosses those ones. So it looks like there are some scales. Okay, so if you haven't gone over it in pen just yet, please go over it now in pen and we're going to raise all the pencil lines. Okay, now that I've erased all the pencil lines, we're going to draw some detail in pen. So I'm just going to draw just some lines, just following the shape of the fin just here, coming all the way down like this, just like that. We're going to do that for most of the fins, so this one as well. Sorry, just trying to get my hand out of the way so you can see it. So here we go, that one and the one underneath. You can't see much of that one. And then this one here, just exactly the same. Just drawing lines, kind of coming all the way around like so. Okay, and then this one as well for the tail. There we go. All the way down. And then for this side of the tail as well. Okay, I'm just going to draw a few more lines just underneath here, all the way underneath. And then I'm just going to draw a few more lines, just like so. Okay, now if you want to colour in, do join me. I'm going to be using these colouring pencils. And first of all, I'm just going to be using a yellow colour all over the fish, apart from the tips of the tails and the tips of some of these fins. So I'm just going to just very lightly just go over the whole drawing. Okay, now I'm just going to speed this up for you, okay? Next up, I'm going to be using an orange. So I'm just going over just the body in the orange, just like this. I'm pressing more heavily when I reach the bottom of the body. This part I'm leaving a little bit 
lighter so I'm not pressing quite so hard up here. I'm pressing a little bit heavier now, just around the eye area. Okay. There are also some markings on the tail. So I'm just following that. I'm not colouring in the tail completely, as you can see it's got markings, so I'm just doing kind of spodges of colour. And then all the bottom of this fin is in a dark orange, and then it gets more yellowy, so I'm not going towards the top of it, I'm just doing the bottom of the fin. And then just round here as well. Just a few patches of orange just down here. Okay, now I'm going to be using red and I'm going to do it most heavily just on the underside here and particularly around here and on this fin, but I'm going to speed up the process. Now I'm just going to use a grey just on the bottom of the tail just here. Just on the underside of the body here as well, just to show that it's in shadow. There we go. And just on the underside of this fin here and underneath here as well. Actually, I'm going to do quite a lot of grey on this fin. A little bit on this one a little bit on the top of this fin. Okay, now I'm going to go over it all in orange. So I'm gonna speed this up. As you can see, I've made a little mistake. I've gone over the edges, but I'll just erase that. Just erase any bits that I haven't done properly. I'm add a tiny bit more yellow, just around the eye area and just over the body, just to really bring the colors out. Can you see how much kind of the colors kind of popping now, isn't it? There we go, just a, this nice golden yellow really brings out all the other colors, all the oranges, all the reds, everything else. There we go, that looks nice. Well, you've done a great job if you've got this far should be extremely proud of yourself and I hope you're proud of your drawing. There we go, it's now finished. If you have enjoyed this, please consider hitting subscribe and like and check out the other video that's coming up now. See you next time, bye bye.